I think first and foremost, uh, very commendable utilities have dealt with their own generation mix to find cleaner, you know, uh, generation to provide energy, wind, large scale solar, hydro, and all of that is quite fantastic. But you have to often realize that not all of those resources are reliable in terms of their dispatch. And the other part of decarbonization is the action required on the part of the consumer. And in order to really align those two pieces of the puzzle, we have to be able to understand what does a customer do with energy in their home. Some of those loads are variable and can move to a clean generation period of time. Some of those are not, you know, but we need to make them more efficient. We have to find a better way uh, to use less energy during those uh, dirty times on the grid. So you actually have to understand who can do what from a potential basis in order to achieve it, right? So if Wendy has a window AC unit, I can send her a message and say, hey, please don't use from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. If I just have fans at my house and I tend to work from the office during the day, and you would say, you know, hey, leave the fans off when you go to work. But it's going to be a different paradigm of interaction to achieve decarbonization in terms of clean generation with the demand requirements to properly align the resources with the needs and requirements of customers.